review of probability. In today's video, I am going to explain few definitions. The first one is random experiment. If an experiment is conducted any number of times under essentially identical conditions, then there is a set of possible outcomes. See here, there are set of possible outcomes associated with it. If the result is not certain and is any one of the several possible outcomes, the experiment is called a random trial or a random experiment. See here, this is very clear that the outcomes are known as elementary events and the set of outcomes is an event. Thus, an elementary event is also an event. See here. First of all, the definition is very clear. What is random experiment? If an experiment is conducted any number of times, any number of times if you conduct an experiment under essentially identical conditions, then there is a set of possible outcomes. There, there will be set of possible outcomes associated with it, associated with the experiment conducted any number of times. All the possible outcomes, the result is not certain. So, it is a probability that we cannot guess the solution here. The result is not certain and is any one of the several possible outcomes. The experiment is called random trial. So, it is a random trial or a random experiment. The outcomes are known as, the results are known as elementary events. And the set of outcomes, there will be few set of outcomes. So, if you try for a head, so, we will be trying for so many times. The set of outcomes, the results are known as events. And thus, an elementary event is also an event. And our next definition here is equally likely events. See here, equally likely events. See our second definitions. Events are said to be equally likely When there is no reason to expect any one of them rather than any one of the others. If there is no expectation at all. So if I throw a die and just I don't expect one or two or three or a set of prime numbers or some of uh, uh, two even numbers. See here there is no expectation at all. The events are said to be equally likely when there is no reason to expect any one of them rather than any other of the others. See here, when a card is drawn, any card may be obtained. So, when a card is drawn from the set of 52 pack of cards, so any card may come. In this trial, all the 52 elementary events are equally likely. So, whichever the card you have chosen, so it is an equally likely event. So, there is no expectation. Whatever, uh, whatever the result is coming, we are accepting it. That is equally likely events. See here, first one is random experiment. Randomly will experiment and the set of all outcomes associated with it are the random experiment or random trial and the outcomes are known as elementary events and the set of all the set of outcomes is an event thus the elementary events is an event what is equally likely events the events are said to be equally likely when there is no reason to expect any one of them so when there is no expectations whatever the result come it is equally likely even and the next definition here is exhaustive event so what is this exhaustive event all possible events in any trial are known as exhaustive exhaustive events see here all the possible events in any trial if you make a trial then all the possible events are called exhaustive events. Example, in tossing a coin, if you toss a coin, there are two exhaustive events, head and tail. See here, head and tail. These are the two outcomes. So, these are the exhaustive events. In throwing a die, there are six elementary events. That is, one or two or three or four or five or six. So, these are all the outcomes. So, all the possible events in any trial are known as exhaustive events. Equally likely, exhaustive, exhaustive events. And the next definition here is mutually exclusive events. See here, have you ever heard about mutually exclusive showroom? So, that variety is not available in nearby showroom or any other showroom. So, this is that is known as exclusive showroom. 
so here likewise mutually exclusive events events are said to be mutually exclusive see here our events are said to be mutually exclusive if the happening of any one of the events in a trial excludes see here excludes the happening of any one of the others that is no two or more of the events can happen simultaneously in the same trial it's very simple to understand take two elements two events see e1 and e2 of a sample space s are said to be mutually exclusive if they have no sample points in common see here for example e1 has 1 2 3 elements e2 has 4 5 6 see here there is no common point here so each one is exclusive event 1 2 3 so the occurrence of 1 2 and 3 here in event 1 and 4 5 6 there is no common point if there is no common point or um, if there is no common sample point in common then we say that e1 and e2 are exclusive events then e1 intersection e2 is empty so this is exclusive mutually exclusive event is nothing but events are said to be mutually exclusive if the happening of any one of the event in a trial excludes the happening of any one of the others see here here 1 2 3 happened so here 4 5 6 happened if you match with this if the happening of any one of the event so any one of the event doesn't suits with or doesn't matches with the events of the other that is even intersection e2 is equal to empty if the intersection point is empty then we say that it is mutually exclusive event and the next coming to the simple event what is simple event an event in a trail that cannot be further split see here that cannot be further split is called a simple event or an elementary event see here it is an elementary event or a simple event an event in a trial that cannot be further split is called a simple event or an elementary event and next coming to the sample space the set of all possible simple events see here this is a simple event and see here the set of all simple events in a trial is called a sample space it's a sample space for the trial each element of a sample space is called a sample point any subset any subset of a sample space is an event it is generally denoted by e a sample space is denoted by s see here any subset of a sample space s is the main set and e is a subset so any subset of a sample space is an event it is generally denoted by e the subset of a sample space is denoted by e and it is an event the sample space is denoted by s the main set is s the subset is an event e two coins are tossed then the sample events are if two coins are tossed then the possible conditions are outcomes are head 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 tail tail head and tail tail so these are all the sample events and what is a sample space see here the set of all sample events are called sample space that is the set of head 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 tail tail head and tail tail so events are different and sample space is different the set of all sample events is a sample space and next coming to the complementary events see here complement two elements of a sample space whose intersection is empty see here this is phi this is phi two elements of a sample space whose intersection is empty and whose union is the entire sample space s are called the complementary events see it's very interesting here if you take any two elements its intersection see its intersection should be empty see here if you take any two elements its intersection should be empty and its union should be the total sample space then we say that the two elements the two events are complementary events then we say that the two elements are complementary events two events of a sample space whose intersection is phi and whose union is an entire sample space s 
are called the complementary events. Thus, if A is an event of a sample space S, yes, its complement is denoted by E dash or E bar. And if the intersection of two events is empty and the union of two events is a sample space, then we say that the two events are complementary events. If you want this E bar complement, then we have to subtract from the sample space S minus E. And next coming to the probability. See here the probability definition is also very very easy. In a random experiment, if you conduct any experiment randomly, let there be a mutually exclusive and equally likely ele elementary events. See here I said to you about mutually exclusive and equally likely. So if they are n mutually exclusive and equally likely elements and see here let E be the event of an experiment. See here M and N. M are mutually exclusive and equally likely elements elementary events and if m elementary events form event then the probability of e is defined as m by n what is small m small m is nothing but number of elementary events in e see here number of elementary events in e n is the total number of elementary events in a random experiment. So, this is the definition of probability and hope you all guys understand. So, in today's video, I explained a few definitions which are very, very important. So, first one is random experiment. All the possible outcomes in an event is called a random trial or a random experiment and equally likely events. And the next one is exhaustive event. So, this one is an exhaustive event. All the possible events in a trial are called exhaustive events. And next one, mutually exclusive events. It means that the intersection of two events should be equal to empty. Empty. Next one is a simple event. An event in a trial that cannot be further split is called a simple event. And the set of all simple events is called a sample space. See here. So, this is event and the set of all events is called sample space and the next one is a complementary events. What is complement? See here, the, their intersection, if you consider two events of a sample space, if the intersection is empty and if its union is a sample space, then we say that the two events of a sample space are the complementary events. Next, probability. Probability is nothing but probability of E. From the definition is m by n. m is the number of elementary events in E by the total number of elementary events in a random experiment. So using these definitions, I am going to solve so many problems related to this series. These definitions are also asked in the question paper. And please go through this video. If you don't understand, read for one more time. And definitely you can you can you will understand. And thank you so much. If you really like this video, you know what to do. Please subscribe and share it with your friends.